Joseph Croton. The Untold Story of Milo. John Abdo. Present yourself to the committee, but Essence calls to Milo. You look like an animal. Move that hair so I can see your face. I miss you too, but Essence. Milo replies, raising laughter amongst the gathering. As the onlookers are chuckling over the exchange, with an angrier tone that's been instigated by the mocking insult, but Essence snarls back, which sport have you chosen? What are my choices? Asks Milo. Pancration is best for you, but Essence smugly replies. Why? Milo asks. Because that is the most barbaric of all the combat sports, but Essence answers, unveiling his decision. Are men killed during pancration competitions? Oh yes. Many times. But Essence replies with wide open eyes and a stretched grin. Pancration is the deadliest of all sports. You desire I kill men for sport? Milo asks with skepticism. Caught off guard, but Essence counters, boxing. What about boxing? Are men killed during boxing competitions? Eyes not as wide open as before, but Essence replies, yes, but not as many as in pancration. Why do you want me to kill other men? Milo questions. Frustrated, but Essence replies, wrestling then. Ruptured muscles. Torn ligaments. Broken fingers. Small stuff. But Acids clears his throat and hastens to add, Okay, every now and then, femur heads dislocate from hip sockets, lumbar vertebrae collapse out of alignment. That's all. At least the athletes return home alive. As But Acids struggles to retain his composure, Pythagoras enters the courtyard and offers his opinion, Croton is a peaceful state. Our population continues to grow because we are a friendly, honest people. Killing foreign athletes will only create animosity and reprisal. Agreeing with Pythagoras, Caliphon adds, many praised Iotimos for killing men on the docks in Abydos. His fights were also considered fair competitions. But the friends and family members of all the men he killed with his bare hands have hated him ever since. Croton can continue to demonstrate its superiority in ways that do not involve killing others, says Chiopinen. As for no ruptured muscles or dislocated hip sockets, well, a chuckle from the gathering. We cannot guarantee that. We are not stepping inside the pit to confront Milo ourselves. But we do know he will be facing the strongest, fiercest fighters in all the world, many whom grotesquely define fair competition. Without persuasion, I suggest Milo will decide for himself in which sport he most desires to demonstrate his fighting skills. Diotimos offers up his opinion, many of the Panhellenic athletes are fierce soldiers, having engaged in military deployments, and their bodies conditioned from athletic training principles, and many of these same athletes, and their brothers, fathers, uncles, and grandfathers, are guilty of many evil acts, yet when they perform victoriously at the games, they return home as heroes, possessed of insurmountable pride that bolsters their thwarted spirits and emboldens their bloodthirsty armies. The losers? They disgrace their sponsors, resulting in waning economies while their theologies struggle to maintain their devotees. And their soldiers? They are also demoralized. Sports are weaponless battles, staged in the disguise of athletics. We realize Croton has its adversaries. If conflict can be settled in an arena, surrounded by true sword participants, let it be. Croton will demonstrate its superior power fairly. We have expressed our viewpoints, says Diotimos, as he concludes the discussion. Milo decides how Milo fights. As everybody awaited Milo's decision, it sounded as if the yard was swarming with cicadas, for all hearts were beating at accelerated rates. Some were hoping Milo would choose to compete in boxing, a combat sport that had first entered the Olympiad in 688 BC. Others were set on Milo competing in pancreation, said to have entered the games 40 years later, in 648 BC. And the remainder, including myself, were betting that Milo would choose to compete in wrestling, the oldest recorded man-to-man -man weaponless combat sport depicted through cave paintings that dated back over 10,000 years, and said to have begun as an official Olympiad event in 708 BC. In time, Milo shouldered Kaaragio and approached the committee, 
Looking directly into Bud Acid's aggrieved eyes, Milo answered at last, Wrestler. Relieved by the decision, I sounded my trumpet and proudly heralded, Milo of Croton, Wrestler. If you are enjoying this content, please like, follow, share, and subscribe, and I'll continue to bring you more fascinating information on Milo of Croton and other great mythological and mortal figures from antiquity. I'm John Abdo, thanking you for watching. Stay strong and healthy, and perhaps one day, thousands of years from now, people then will be remembering your name as well.